Our society is facing a large number of offenses committed by both adults and minors. When the perpetrator is a minor, the law should not seek to punish them, but help them change in order to get their life back on track. Many experts agree that restrictive measures, such as imprisonment, are not the appropriate solution. There is a complementary or alternative way, restorative justice. Belgium has opted for a system called protection system when it comes to minors. It promotes diversion and restorative justice. The process helped me come out with a healthier self-image. I know I'm not a bad person. Mediation lets you make up for things, correct the mistakes you've made. It helped us avoid prison. Punishment is pointless if there isn't a second psychological or educational aspect. Restorative justice aims to give the victim and the community a greater role and to help people more directly affected to come to terms with what has happened to them. These people, called parties, are in fact considered the best placed to find together the appropriate solution that they deem fair. Let's look at the judicial process in Belgium. When an offence is committed, the victim or a family member or friend files a complaint with the police. Sometimes the perpetrators, minors, are caught in the act. Sometimes they're arrested later. After questioning, the perpetrator may spend a night in a cell. The police draw up an official report, which they send to the juvenile division of the public prosecutor's office when the perpetrator is under 18 years of age. The public prosecutor's office represents society. It acts on society's behalf when public order is disrupted by an offence. The public prosecutor's office analyzes the case, requests an additional investigation if necessary, and decides on its fate. The public prosecutor's office carries out triage. It has three basic options. Some of the cases will be closed without further action. This means these cases will be filed away and will only be activated if new offenses are committed. Other cases will be forwarded to the juvenile court judge. But in other cases, the public prosecutor's office appointed to this task by criminologists is of the opinion that mediation is the appropriate judicial response. With mediation, I was able to realize what kind of person might commit these offenses. I was able to get things off my chest and say what I was feeling. I think mediation is very important, both for people who are victims, like us, but also for the perpetrators. The role of the judge. When the public prosecutor's office believes that a judge's intervention is necessary, it forwards the case to them. The minor is accompanied by a lawyer at the various stages of the proceedings. The lawyer will be present at the appearance before the judge. The judge is there to reach a decision. When making a decision, they will take into account the personality and maturity of the minor, their lifestyle, the gravity of the offences, the consequences for the victim, any previous measures, public safety, etc. Depending on these criteria, the judge may, for example, suggest restorative justice. Belgian legislation also requires the judge to consider as a priority the possibility of restorative justice. The lawyer may emphasize the advantage of it for the parties. I had concerns because I didn't know the whole process. It's very reassuring. I felt confident. It was good. Mediation, an offer of restorative justice. Mediation is a process of direct or indirect communication to which parties commit voluntarily. They can withdraw from the process at any time. Confidentiality is guaranteed. The mediator is a neutral and impartial professional appointed by the justice system. 
He will put the perpetrator in contact with the victims so that together they can try and find restorative solutions to the conflict caused or brought to light by the offences. This process is aimed at raising the perpetrator's awareness, reparation of the loss caused to the victim, and restoration and appeasement for all. Specifically, the public prosecutor's office or the judge sends their mediation proposal to the minor, the minor's parents, and the victim. The parties get in touch with the mediator. The mediator will initially see them separately so that they can express themselves without any fear or holding back on their experiences, needs and expectations. If they wish, the mediator will put them in touch with each other, either directly via a meeting or indirectly with a mediator acting as a communication intermediary. Being held accountable is a very important measure in terms of education. Mediation can be offered at any time in the proceedings, when the time is right. Mediation can be suggested on its own or combined with other measures. If the victim does not want to be present, they can be represented by a family member or friend or use indirect communication methods such as letters or video. The perpetrator and victim may be supported by people to whom they are or feel close during the various phases of mediation. The parties also have the option of being accompanied by a lawyer. The lawyer does not speak for them, but assists them in finding a solution that meets the expectations of all parties. My parents have always been there for me, in the good times and the bad, when I've been having problems. It really helped me that they were there. I felt more confident. I was accompanied by two people whose support I needed, my little sister and my partner. There needs to be an agreement from the victim, who agrees to take part in the process, and obviously from the perpetrator. For their part, the perpetrator must recognize or at least not deny the offenses and agree to take part in the process. During mediation, the mediator ensures that they create a climate of trust, clearly explaining the framework of their intervention and their role. Through a group dynamic, he tries to encourage creativity in order to come up with solutions. This means creating a communication space where parties can talk to each other, listen to each other, get answers to their questions, and express their emotions and expectations in complete safety. The mediator rephrases what the parties are saying and invites them to put themselves in the other person's shoes. Mediators are there, but they don't judge. That's the difference between the judge and mediation. The mediator was also there sometimes to rephrase ideas and thoughts. This helped the young person express themselves. We expressed ourselves easily, but the young person was a little uncommunicative. There are several stages in the meeting. Introduction and reminder of context. Exchanges about the offenses and their consequences for each party the search for restorative solutions and, often, agreement with the victim. The agreement reached with the victim is sent to the judicial authority for approval. The mediator supervises its enforcement. I made some decisions. I'm going to go back to school on a regular basis. I've since found a job. I'm an apprentice roofer. It made me think about life and my future. I needed to put a face to my attacker. I needed to understand. There were many questions I needed to ask him. I didn't think mediation was so easy to set up and in this kind of environment. I was given the opportunity to put things right and to provide my assistance. It was an opportunity for me and it helped me with what I want to do later. 
ça m'a vraiment vraiment aidé. It really helped me. I don't have nightmares anymore and I've been able to stop demonizing the person who robbed me. I was able to feel useful. It's weird but I needed to feel useful. I felt that I'd been heard and that I had said everything I had to say. I had a better understanding of the justice system after that. I wasn't angry anymore. If all young people who have done something harmful to the public were able to benefit from mediation, that would be amazing. They could move on with their lives and be given a second chance. In some countries, such as Northern Ireland, Or New Zealand, restorative justice has become the systematic judicial response to delinquency by minors. Research concerning international practice points to very high satisfaction rates among perpetrators, victims and other participants. In 2018 in Belgium, inspired by these experiences, the legislator extended the options for using this procedure. In fact, Belgian legislation now allows the victim and the perpetrator to directly submit an application for an offer of restorative justice to the public prosecutor's office or the judge 